Well, over the last 150 years, the University of Maryland has changed from a private agricultural campus to a sprawling, world-renowned university. Now, one man recently compiled a book of images that tells the story of the Terrapin Building's people and culture. Well, uh, one of the reasons I chose this photograph, obviously, was to show the inside of the barracks, because very few photographs uh, of that exist, uh, but also to show the Dory family uh, served the University of Maryland community for almost 40 years. From student protests in the 1960s and 70s to the first Korean graduate, these photos give a rare glimpse into life over the last century and a half at the University of Maryland. Recently, the school's assistant archivist, Jason Speck, compiled a book of historical images. The University of Maryland Archives has over half a million photos in our collection, so it was quite a challenge to narrow them down to 209. Um, the way you do that is you think about the stories you want to tell, and then you go and, and find photographs, you know, visually interesting photographs to match those stories. I'm on Fraternity Road just across the street from the main campus of the University of Maryland. At one time, this was the original football field. Today, it's known as the site of the Old Bird Stadium. Uh, down here, we've got uh, Old Bird Stadium, which existed until they built what is now Bird Stadium, which opened in September 1950. And you can see running along right here, that's where uh, Route 1 is now. And then there are the images of the old agriculture and dairy farms on campus. There used to be a ton of green space. There, were, uh, there was a big farm on campus. There were uh, cows that, uh, uh, big cow population that they used to make uh, milk and ice cream on campus. Today, Maryland is synonymous with top sports teams such as basketball. But did you know that many years ago, the university had an Olympic caliber women's rifle team? We had a uh, world-class ladies rifle team from about 1924 to 1941. Um, some of the ladies won individual national championships. Uh, one lady, Irene Knox, she actually went to the Olympics. And one of the most telling pics of them all is the one where people are rehearsing life after a nuclear bomb. There used to be 37 fallout shelters on campus, and this was all part of a preparation course in case of attack. The shelters were dismantled in the late 70s. And by the way, the university currently has 35,000 students. When it first opened its doors 154 years ago, there were only 34 students.